Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 53, quarterfinal number 2, between Pungbot and his humans, versus Guido Baggins and his Wood Elves. We start off with a lovely kick, um, the Pungbot won the toss and chose to kick with his humans. No, that's a complete lie. Guido Baggins won the toss and chose to receive. I thought into a Daka, but this doesn't look like a Daka. It's set up with a... You know, old school elf drive of try and just play normally and stall eight turns, but you know, I just normal bash drive, right? But I do think the Daka is superior to that. Never mind. Guido Bangs is down TV and has a wizard and a mercenary lineman. Pongbot has got plenty of reserves. Wonder if he should have sacked the block thrower. Well, unless he's got another thrower. Yeah, he's got a block tackle throw. Should he have sacked this guy 90k? Like, oh no, but then it's 100, so... He would have had to sack him and another guy to deny the wizard. Which is asking a lot, isn't it? Still might have been good, though. Sack two players. He's still got 12. Cuts the uh, wood elves down to 11 and no whiz. Nice, uh, perfect defence to avoid the ogre. Getting pwned by the tree. So yeah, the humans have got a tackle mighty, two tackle mighties, both with guard, one with dodge. Lodge step, a couple of block tacklers, strength up, tackle mighty again. So three tackle mighties and two more tackles. It's a lot of tackle against elves. So this is uh, pretty scary for the woodies. Similar to Norse, humans' niches being able to uh, beat up on elves a bit. But again, beating up on elves doesn't necessarily mean you beat them. <laughs> Guido Bangins has a strength up dancer, lovely. A sidestep rustle stripper. A jump catcher. Why are you nice? Dodge step. Guiding tackler and a guarder, but it's pretty min max, isn't it? Which is why he's got the wizard and the merc. When I say min max, it's just more min min, right? Like, elves don't really benefit from a min max kind of build. It's basically, just probably lots of things died. <laughs> I mean, maybe he just hasn't played that many games as well, that's an option. can't remember from the preview how many games the Elves have played, but probably just haven't played that many games. Oh wow, huge Kaz. And huge Apple. Like, obvious, obvious Apple there, couldn't fail, but still. It's still huge that um, he's not actually gone. <laughs> I guess this is the good thing about elves is when they're doing like a normal offense, um, they can use their tree as part of the cage, which is pretty good at completely shutting off any any attempt at generating any pressure at that side. But then they still have to cover that side because they can go forward past the tree. Guy. Could have hit the kicker. Yeah, there's a kicker here. Could have just uh, cast the kicker, but instead cast a rookie. I don't think it's particularly stronger to, uh, you know, positional wise to take out that guy. So, I'd have liked to have seen the hit on the kicker there. The hidden mighty blow of the war dancer paying off. Journeyman round back, I quite like that. Obviously, whoever whoever goes this side is often going to get blitzed. So having it someone you absolutely give zero f's about is pretty good. Zero flips. That's what I should have said. Shouldn't I? Maybe getting a bit too far away from the tree here. 
I do quite like staying tight into the tree. I, you know, you can always come back to the tree next turn, but I don't know. I mean, maybe this is good actually, right? Lure them out over here, swing back around the tree, and now they've got loads of players over here, that, and you've got a tree in between them. So maybe this is really nice. is having these two players here and now it makes it really hard to like go back that way. Banged out. You know, like this is the problem, right? It makes it really hard to go back this way. Like he hasn't got too disconnected from the tree. If, it, if the team had been here this wouldn't have been as easy to have gone away. Just get to push him into the tree which is nice. Really nice. Could just go back of the ball a bit. And it's the L's with the whiz. <laughs> oh, big two plus. No dodge on that roll. Maybe should have made this a 3D from the tree. Oh man. Oh I hate. I hate I hate not hitting with a tree, honestly. Like, you've already rooted. Just give him 3D and smash him to bits. Smash him to bits. <laughs> yeah, it's turned into a bit of a dagger now, hasn't it? A bit, yeah, it's, it's always an option, I guess, right? Just go back as always. And they've actually they've actually had the advantage in the banging, more or less. I don't know, it's like a Kazna KO versus a Kaz Apple gun. So... They've almost won the attrition game. Like, very good quality player. Oh well, it was enough to uh, get the dodge off. Go for this guy now. Yep. Try to get as much as he can down the side. This one can come up to screen with the tree. Should have done that first. <laughs> or, or base the mighty blow tackler. But whatever happens, this guy should have gone first. To be technically correct, yeah. My my inst my first in my initial instinct was to. Uh, Screen with the tree, but actually, maybe he's coming down and tagging them. Might have a tackle, might be a better play. Completely neutralize him for the turn. Like for the next turn as well, I guess it's not just for the turn. For the next turn as well. Like he's already pretty neutralized, like well you could you could only blitz him or whatever. Which isn't great. But right now he can blitz him and have two tacklers fill the next time. Whereas if you base him you're kind of forcing that play, I guess. If he wants the, both tacklers to potentially be involved. But you know, forcing the action isn't necessarily good. My base in the ball isn't that good most of the time. They're just giving somebody an assist for the move, a move they want to make anyway. So in the end, I guess in the end the difference it made is this ca this catcher is here instead of like here. Right? So, Which is fair enough, only three turns left on, well, two more turns left on defense, right? 
because he's not going to get his turn eight on defense. I mean, he, he has got a one turn chance, but it's not great. Where's the where's the side step? I'm sure he's got a god step catcher. Isn't he? Where is it? There. So yeah, it's not it's not the best one turn, is it? In Act Three, move eight blood step is not not a great one turn chance. So I'd rather put my rerolls in attempting to stop the score, if possible. Three dice the diving tackler and try and jam in a bit. Seems like the only play. I like jamming a lot. Get deep as well, get this guy. This guy down on here. Turned into a dacker, didn't he? That was the key to victory. <laughs> the key to victory was turning into a dacker. <laughs> I mean, it really helped banging this guy out as well, didn't it? Which, to be fair, wouldn't even have happened if he'd done a dacker. Oh, did he not see this guy? Or did he forget him, or is he counter-scoring? Is this like a sneaky canoring threat? I think this guy, maybe he run out of time. I think this guy should have definitely been, like, you know, down here to try and stop the score. Like, it's it's hard to stop what he's... Wow, he scores anyway. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I think it was definitely better to roll dice and get the stall. Because humans scoring in two is uh, very doable. Probably a lot more likely than getting the ball sack. But got the job done, kind of. Say the least. Super interesting. Yeah. It goes to the sideline. He might have a diving tackle. He really, really needs you to go down that side of one side step. So you've kind of got to blitz this guy almost. But you can put in a player here and blitz from here. So it's not a big... Whoop. That's exactly what he does. Just needed the push. Didn't have to re-roll there. I would think I would have liked keeping the... Uh, Keeping the reroll for GFIs, maybe try and pile as many people, you know, really as far forward as possible. But if your plan isn't to GFI, then completely reasonable to get the knockdown. Or to try to get the knockdown. Does the 
pass because we were always gone. He's got the ball in a cage, but I mean, it's not a. <laughs> it's a very easily crack openable cage. Somewhat unbelievably, <laughs> Guido Baggins has found the key <laughs> to get the hit on the ball. I think this is probably correct. It's like having the wrestling strip is pretty huge, isn't it? I wonder if wrestles better, given the. Uh, the fact that we take him out as a scoring threat, wouldn't it? One, two, three. At all. Yeah, we'd take him out as a scoring threat, so I wonder if Russell is correct. I think obviously the push has got great chances of just, you know, one of your players maybe getting the ball at the end, which he's got, but still. Very tricky for the humans. Yeah. This is a pretty pointless 1D. <laughs> Maybe it was that was to get this guy through. I don't know. Probably to get somebody through without dodging. But I could have just dodged that guy. Couldn't I? Still failed. Right, so now the Woodies are in defence, 1 0 up with a wizard and with 10 players. Pretty decent. This is 11. Like it's, it's not a stacked human team, is it, by any means? This isn't easy for the humans, but you'd expect them to get the job done. Well, without a wizard, you'd expect them to get the job done and cause some damage. Anything happened with Blood Bowl 3? Not really, Raven. Not really. Uh, it was allegedly going to be... It was allegedly going to be a uh, patch, but there hasn't been. There's apparently not been a reset. I don't know if they're resetting the rankings. They they have they have chosen a top 32, but there is no been no reset. There's been no hard reset. I don't know if they're soft resetting the rankings, you know, privately or something, or, or how it's working. But I really don't know. Like I don't know if Cyanide will work out a way to reset the rankings, but not the teams, not not keep the teams out, or if. Lumi will have to, you know, manually work out new ratings for them somehow. We've got really no idea how this will work. Estimate on Blood Bowl 3 becoming an actual game. Well, if you can enjoy it now, maybe it's four months. If you can't enjoy it now, maybe never. Big removal. Yep. Again, twice this guy's been removed instantly. Look at dog. Wood elves. Wait, no, it's a different one. This wasn't the tackle one. 
So it's not that big a removal. <laughs> but yeah, it still might, would be nice to not get him removed. But you notice why you've got to have multiple tackle, even though he wasn't a tackle. It's, it, like, it shows the importance of multiple tackle, right? It's just easy to lose a guy. Even when you're ostensibly... It's because I think it's because the tackle guy was here as well, wasn't it? Made it harder. Um, like, when you're ostensibly the bash team, you can still just randomly get players chipped. So... Yep. Lovely not trying to hit the tree moves. The Orga just realising he's uh, he's outclassed and not even trying. Again, refuses to hit with a tree and gets rewarded with another dodge fail off the tree. A one in nine this time instead of a one in three. Getting pretty scary for the humans now. The uh, two players KO'd. And a wizard. I was only one this drive, wasn't it? Three, six, nine. Ten, yeah, there's only one that's drives. This will got ten. But the elves have got ten. It's ten v ten. And the elves do have the wizard. This is a bit risque. Don't let your uh, dancer get too deep. This is maybe a little bit too much now. Oh, so, oh, okay, it's definitely too much. You can be my wingman anytime. Oh, way, way too much. <laughs> you can be mine. Oh, glorious. Hello, Rick. Thank you very much for the raid. Glorious. Welcome, Rick, viewers. Um, to the second quarter final of the uh, CCL Season 53. We've got a... Uh, a bit of an overcommit here, I think, by the elves. I think they just needed to stick a few things forward and then keep a thing. Like, you know, they kind of open themselves up the potato a bit here. Um, but it's not really happening, so. Like, you know, a ball transfer potato. But I guess that doesn't really work against elves, even if they do overcommit. <laughs> so it didn't matter. Maybe it was right to overcommit. Feel free to overcommit. You can't possibly be punished. Because you would else. <laughs> so yeah, maybe that was completely the correct play. And, wow, is that a KO and a Kaz? Each other. Amazing. Jesus. Got a guy in an hour assist. So we could 1D him and see what happens. Um, it's looking, looking, Dio, like, well, so the first, there's, there's basically three, there's Mr. We don't know the results of any of the matches yet, Dio. Maximum Derek, of course, because this is for the YouTubes as well, right? Um, but Mr. Page got dwarfed, I think, in, in the quarterfinal. So obviously that's a very favourable matchup. And um, we've ha already had a high elves versus Norse, which if the Norse win, that's very favourable for Chaos. 
We've got humans versus wood elves, which if the humans win, that's very favorable for chaos. And we've got humans versus skaven, which if the humans win, that's very favorable for chaos. So it does seem like he's had pretty much the perfect draw through to win in this tournament with Mr. Page. It's been Bash Teams is vastly superior than, or, um, or like a really underdeveloped elf team, right? The, the own, you know, I still thought uh, PC might have beaten him, but uh, PC's team was really, really, really bad. <laughs> really bad. Yeah. I mean, there's a good chance he would struggle these elves, but they might not make it. <laughs> Also, he could just bang these out as well, right? He's got plenty of claw mighty. He can kill the tree, turn one. And then get loads of blocks. And <laughs> there's certainly a chance to just bang people out and win. Wow. Which the elves continue to do. <laughs> I mean, this is looking very nice for the elves, isn't it? Really nice. Eight humans. Three, six, seven. Yeah, eight humans. And nine wood elves. So yeah, this is looking um It's looking pretty bad for the humans, especially with a wizard, right? That's the thing, isn't it? That's the thing about having having armor as like a balancing thing. Like it's really weird, right? Because Movement, you know, seven things are always movement seven. And add four things always have add four lines of play up more into them. Whereas the armor is just not necessarily going to act how it should. <laughs> well, that was a pretty good wizard. Tackle zoneless. Very lucky, right? First of all, he made the 2+, plus, and then he got the 3 out of 8. For no tackle zones. So, really nice. The bad thing is, he's going to have to blitz through a tackler, so if he doesn't power him, it's going to be annoying. Do you even go for, like, the this guy in the middle, right? That might be an idea. Go for the guy in the middle, rather than the guy in the end. Oh, wow. The double goals. I wonder if it might be an idea to go for the guy to the middle. And like, if you push him, it's pretty shit. But if you power him, then uh, you just go straight through. Like he could have gone all the way through, but the, one, the other one could have gone all the way through. But I guess yeah, the H5 can just go through. Pretty easily, unless he double ones the GFI. There you go. Well, there you go. Edge four things always roll a one. Well, edge five things do. So uh, that wasn't even edge five. It's just G five. <laughs> Bull centaur like um, catcher there. I guess yeah. I guess the edge five is always the player. Yeah. I kind of forgot he had an edge five. And he obviously didn't forget he had an edge five. <laughs> You really can't leave the uh, Elves of Two turn here, but if you get the stun here, the stall is pretty easy. Mm. Do you have to score now? Oh, well, he's not scoring, he's just GFIing away. I guess you can't leave the you can't leave the Elves of Two turn. Leap dodge. G5. Surely. 
Oh no! Not what I would have done. <laughs> this is just getting your best player punched. I guess he can tag everyone. Ugh. Bit ropey though. He doesn't have the uh, he doesn't have the dying tackle catcher, does he? In position. Is Rick's poker on in 20 minutes, is it? I thought it was a uh, 9 UTC. Okay, it does the dodge to get 2D. Which is probably wrong, right? If he does the 1D. Oh no, because if he does the 1D, it's a 1 in 9, but he still gets to dodge. Hmm. It might be right to do the dodge, because then you get two nice and his best player as well. That means you get to re roll the uh, 1 in 36. Yeah, but you still got a 3 plus afterwards, right? And then. If you roll the 2. Then you, uh. Then you've got the 1 in 9. If you roll a 1, you've got to re roll that. And if you roll another 2. Then that adds a bit of equity. But it, it's interesting. I think the fact that you're getting to hit his best player on 2 dice with Mighty Low Tackle may edge it towards the dodge being the best player, right, because you're playing for overtime anyway. So it might be edged towards a 2D being better in terms of match equity. Like, it's probably higher odds to just do the 1D. Equity, yeah. So he's got a really good one turn. But might not get the chance to do it. Do you even re-roll that? No, he's only got one re-roll, so yeah, doesn't even doesn't even get the chance of the uh, one turn. Right, see who wins the toss. And probably wins. Like, you know, there's more chance of the elves turning over the humans, I think, but I still fear the humans massively if they get the ball. Looks like they have got the ball. All right. Well, they held down the first drive pretty easily, you know, apart from the wizard. But I mean, they, they do have this strength ball guy who can leap in at any point, so like, it's a bit of a danger. There's three guards, well, four if you count the ogre, but he's mostly just been sacrificed one on one with the uh, tree. Now might be a time to uh, just put like a line or a catcher on the tree and uh, try to get the ogre in just for his guard for protecting the, bo the ball. Because now is when Guido Baggins might pull the trigger on the uh, strength ball. Ball sacker. This is a bit tricky. 
Could have gone back a bit too far. Right? That's something that I see that a lot of people do. They will kind of go back a bit too far, right? Like, uh, especially beginners. I'm not saying that pawn bot's a beginner here, but you know, like, let's say the ball the ball goes here, right? They'll put a player next to the ball to mark a ball. You know, like yeah, it's often the thing you'll see new players doing. I think you know it's something that people tell new players to do, but you know, controlling the space. It's more effective to control nine squares than one, right? So, like, screening out or having this catcher, like, here, then he's potentially relaying stuff and he's still, like, getting in the way just as much as there. You know, you could have, like, you can make a screen. This catcher and this thrower could be, like, what this catcher could be, say, here, right? And he's still making a screen and he's still in range to do things next turn and stuff. He's just not standing like here like an idiot, basically. <laughs> anyway, there's, he can pretty much get anywhere that he could have got as well, right? Like, I start here, except he can also go forward. This only helps if the elves come for the ball. But also, he if he was up here, he'd be reinforcing and trying to break through to come for the ball anyway. So, it's super interesting. Super interesting, which there you go, and that's where he does come. And if he was here, that wouldn't have been able to be happening. <laughs> Just quietly. I mean, this one still could have been. Super interesting. <laughs> Just quietly, yeah, it's good having all the catchphrases, isn't it? <laughs> don't like this because that might happen <laughs> and you need the guard right because you've got a string four he's got a string four dancer he's got a string four dancer but he makes the pass what big boy pass big boy pass look at that we are on for the uh it's, it's sudden death obviously over time so Next goal wins. Oh man. So you can punch him and then dodge him out onto it. Oh, you just have to use the reroll there. Loads of rerolls though. I like just trying to brute force this. Oh, no. Oh, that wasn't as important though. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it was more important to get this guy dodged out. Not better than that. Out of range of him. I guess he can hit this guy, which is what he's going to do. Yep. And then what this guy goes here, maybe? Or here? Rotten that he's got to choose whether to commit the reroll before he starts the, the whole thing. Because obviously, if he's. You know, if you go there, you kind of committed to me in the second one, right? Because you can't just stop there after popping the dot. After popping the reroll, but if you go here, it's a lot weaker. You have to just uphill here. Do you uphill the dancer? He uphills the dancer. I guess now you just stand him up and you uphill this guy for a push. That's That's got to be it, right? And then you've got a three plus to score. So yeah, just stand him up and uphill for the push. I'd be pretty happy about this as the humans. I think they got pretty much banged out for most of the game. Drives really hard both halves and now an uphill to score uphill and a three plus is not oh okay now I hate this I hate whatever oh my god I hate whatever this play is what is this play oh it's to get the garden to make it a 1D oh so he did have dodge to be fair he did have dodge so maybe this is uh, maybe this is correct Oh, 
I paused on the turnover thing, so I couldn't I couldn't do anything. <laughs> right. Um, so you made, you made two dodges with dodge and two GFIs to turn the two D into a one D. Um. I do feel like the uphill. The problem is you do want the like the pushes the the both downs no good, right? You you need the pushes up, up. Like if it was just the skull, if you could uphill this guy to get out, it'd be a lot better. But the fact that you do need the pushes to get him out. Hmm. I don't I don't know if that's worth it or not. It may it may well be. I'd have to summer it. Doesn't use doesn't get to use dodge. <laughs> Could have surfed him, but doesn't. And now the uh, strength four dancer has the ball. Well, not yet. <laughs> but he's going to use his last reroll if he has to. Doesn't. Strength four dancer's got the ball. And it's looking pretty... Okay, it's not looking pretty good. He's passing it. He's just going straight for the score. Flip me. That is ballsy. Wow. Wow. Pops, pops sure feet. Keeps going. Wow. That was pretty ballsy. I'd have been quite happy just uh, trying to screen the strength four and having the ball in the strength four dancer at this stage. But just go straight for that. I mean, he's at five, right? So it's just a three plus pass. And uh, twos. Yeah, three plus pass. Catch with a reroll. So yeah. Second sequence was better. There you go. Three three two D one D four three. <laughs> So it's quite a bit better, isn't it? 56. There is like the dodges afterwards. But it's better on re-roll this and with a re-roll, so it's just definitely better, isn't it? Well, there you go. The woodies. Steal it. Get in. It was late. <laughs> well, you made the right. You made the right call. No, Pwnbot made the right call on the uh, on going for the one D, and I think that's fair enough. Going for the, uh, you know, get it over with. Like it was just a three plus that was scary, right? The three plus was scary, but um, t you know, had catch rear on the catch and the dodges and the GFIs. So ah yeah that's a good that's a good thing yeah it's a good point John Fibzusa. but the fact that it's better with without the reroll and with the reroll indicates that it's almost certainly the correct move doesn't it so there you, you go you can be my wingman anytime Whoa. bullshit you can be mine glorious thank you very much Mr. Page welcome Mr. Page Mr. Page Raiders just doing going through the air uh, done the first two quarterfinals just now and now the next one will be Mr. Page's game, I believe, so there you go. <laughs> um, congratulations to Guido Baggins, commiserations to Pongbot. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.